certainly appreciate everyone's coming here on time. Uh, we have a number of uh, uh, missing KOL uh, members that we're going to just uh, update them as we go forward. So uh, with that, uh, as Jeff said, and as you've seen in the agenda, as you've uh, witnessed our work in the past uh, six, seven years, uh, we're trying to uh, propose a better way of uh, going about risk assessment and uh, opening eyes uh, to the problems that we've been uh, facing but uh, not really doing much about it. And that is uh, early detection and treatment of uh, asymptomatic atherosclerosis, particularly those with high burden of uh, atherosclerotic plaques that go undetected only uh, based on risk factor screen. And uh, this has been the subject of uh, 16 uh, meetings that I've organized throughout the years at AHA and ACC. And the most recent ones were focused on the ramification of adopting a national screening program. As you are aware, most of you, the state of Texas uh, followed uh, the principle of the SHAPE uh, guidelines and incorporated it in the uh, Texas uh, Heart Attack Prevention Law that uh, mandates uh, payment by insurance companies for uh, individuals who fit in the uh, a mostly intermediate risk category to be covered by uh, 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 for cried IMP and coronary calcium payment up to $200 uh, every five years. And that bill has passed uh, uh, the legislation in the government's office and now an insurance uh, committee uh, being proposed for implementation through this process. We propose as a, an advocacy organization uh, ICABEL is the organization for uh, 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 certifying laboratories uh, for doing this test. But in talking with Michael Jeff and others at ICABEL and other organizations, including SAIP, which is the uh, co sponsor of this event, we realize there are so many barriers in the way of uh, adopting this. It's not just passing the law, which was a major monumental event. So, as you can see in the agenda, for uh, topics that are uh, proposed for discussions today. We would like to hear everyone, every KOL's uh, opinion. Uh, first about the problem, then about the solution. Obviously, we'll be uh, uh, right off the bat uh, facing time constraints, so we're, we're going to have to be very to the point, to specifically each uh, aggressive problem. We're not here to talk about how great is carotid IMT or coronary calcium. We're not here to show each other outcome data. We're not here to sell any uh, new uh, concept or ideology. We're really here to address problems that are in the way of adopting uh, uh, of both of these technologies and the, 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 the next step. So, because we all know no diagnostic test saves life. Doesn't matter how great the test is. It's the implementation after of therapy and lifestyle modification or any intervention after therapy, after diagnosis, is what makes difference. So how do we go about that? That would be towards the end of this uh, discussion. <coughs> With that, I'd like to invite uh, our first KOL. Again, this is not going to be in form of a talk, so the slides are here. I have uh, about, I think, eight, nine different slide sets. Some of the KOL members uh, are going to just talk uh, without the slides. But these are slides are gen general reminders, and as uh, Dr. Fine said these are going to be uh, transcripted, sent around for everybody's review, final review, and hopefully we'll uh, get some industry support to be able to publish it. And publish them in one of these prestigious journals as problems and solutions, uh, the way they are viewed by the KOL of the NACSAR. And now I'm um, hoping this will be a name that uh, we will be repeating in the future. National Cardiovascular Screening Adoption Route. So, what are the questions? If you open the agenda, we have uh, 
and specifically assigned certain questions to it, uh, each KOL. And we ask about three to five minutes. I would appreciate if you use the three part, three minutes, uh, to just address the question. And then we move forward uh, around the room for um, one round of questions, then we come back to uh, solutions. And in the meantime, I'll try to moderate uh, discussions and please uh, uh, feel free to interrupt and not uh, uh, be afraid of uh, interactive discussion. So in the list, we have five topics, coronary calcium screening, carotid IMG screening, PAD slash ABI screening, reimbursement certification, and National CBD Screening Coalition. The problems for coronary calcium topics, radiation, progression, regression, for carotid IMT, reproducibility, progression, and regression, standards and accuracy uh, for uh, PAD and ABI screening, reimbursement and certifications are for labs and personnel, and National CBD Coalition for societies and representatives representatives of the society. So with that, I'd like to start the coronary calcium screening uh, expert um, proposal of the problem. I have uh, Dr. Berman, who is uh, posed to uh, this question, is radiation an issue in CAC screening? And if so, is it dependent on type of CT scanner? Is there any reproducibility issue with CAC standardized protocol? Uh, Dan, I think you have a slide. Is, is this PD? Yeah. Please uh, go ahead, Dan, and feel free to throw questions also. 